Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, I want to take all those plentiful catalysts that I refuse to use and use the new inscription system to make a, like, seven plentiful mine room or as many plentifuls as we could possibly put on a mine room. I think it's possible. In the meantime, I ran six treasure rooms off camera. So I'm going to go send you over to a highlight reel and then we'll go through the loot. So check this out. I was so thorough when searching for the treasure rooms that I completed a monolith vault. In fact, I completed two monolith vaults. This one had four monoliths and I found a fifth one. So I took a little bit of time to rage because monoliths are so rare. And of course I found five of them in this one random vault. But in any case, we found a lot of good stuff. Um, almost got an entire suit of Epic Plus armor in one. We found two knowledge stars. Uh, we even found a treasure chest scroll, which is absolutely insanely rare. I'm going to keep it though, because I don't know if they'll be used. We got unlucky, unfortunately, on Lost bounties, not really good stuff from the treasure sand, but uh, that is for the loot explaining Joseph to tell you, so I'm going to go uh, send you over to him. Well, this is going to be an amazing episode. All those treasure rooms, and then a super mine room. I am so excited to show you the loot. <laughs> the to-do board is full of chests and crates. Yeah, kind of wild that we did these monolith vaults, but a little bit of bounties and a boss crate. We'll open those later, because first I want to show you the jewels. The uh, bad jewels these are the jewels that weren't very good look at that 55 size for a living uh-uh these however are the good jewels there's plenty of highlights in here including a hammer size one uh a perfect coin affinity look at that mining speed look at that mining speed kind of wild right just a lot of really good ones i love this perfect jewel so good for a another vanilla immortality if we ever want it i think there's another that's a really good vanilla immortality that's a really good vanilla immortality but the big one is this copiously jewel, which will fit on our hammer, which is perfect because of our plans for today. So the jewels are great, and I'm excited to smelt these down and craft them up. I might even do that today. I'm not sure, though, because busy, busy bee today. This is a Valkyr chest. This is the common and rare Valkyr chest. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Boy, I sure wish I had almost an entire full set of Epic Plus and an Omega and six pogs, and 49 vault diamonds, and three old notes, and two knowledge stars, and a shield I couldn't fit, and scrappy plus boots that rolled into epics that are actually pretty good. <gasps> the Valkyr situation is exceptional. Uh, we only did get one Omega, unfortunately, out of six, which feels a little bad, but getting almost a full set of epic is amazing. Six pogs feels really good. Uh, are you wondering about all the gems? Da-da! Oh, look at this. By the way, that is seven pogs worth of gems. So total of 13 pogs. We got an echo gem. We got 16 black opals. We even got a resilient focus, which is really great. 24 netherite ingots, which is awesome. A chest scroll. That's incredible. I, I, I don't know whether I should turn it into a chest or not. As cool as it would be, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a use. These four fundamentals I'm very excited about. I'm talking really fast right now because we have so much to do. Uh, five unidentified relics, a bunch of moats, which is really exciting because curses are a lot more prevalent. 15 orbs of regret. I'm just gonna... Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Eight mod boxes and five mystical essences, which, by the way, are much cheaper, and we will be using them. And before I go through even rolling all of that, I, I feel like we should just... Oh, that was lovely. I feel good. A lot more Valkyr to roll. And another fundamental. Oh, that's right, because I think our legendary bounty rewards are in here somewhere. So that's cool. 22 gold. Okay, Valkyr Mania. I'm going to start with all of the vault gear that we got out of our crates. I don't imagine anything is going to be good. How do I do this? There we go. I got a comment about this feature. Whoa, warrior chest plate. Oh, uh, three. Okay. Woo, spiky plate mail. All right, I'm going to go through this all. Okay, from the crates, we actually got two uh, decent backups, so not bad. And now to roll all of this absolute madness. Hello, Rain. Are you here to give me good luck? Look at all the transmogs coming in. What? <laughs> it rolled right in my hands. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, we got to look through this now. Wow, that is a cool looking sword. Okay, from that, we got these items that I consider good backups. Honestly, that's a lot of Valkyr to get from it. Very high damage axe. Uh, good chest plates, right? A few good chest plates. More Omega Pants. I don't know what it is with Omega Pants. In fact, 
These Omega Pants have a higher base armor. So I know I rolled these. Uh, look, I literally rolled the. I didn't show it in last episode because it took forever, but I rolled these down to zero, right? And these pants are just better. So we're probably going to roll those. Really good shield. Very excited about that. Honestly, two very good idols and a great backup helmet. Check this out. A cleave range faceted focus and a resistance faceted focus. That's actually really huge. Oh yeah, and we can't forget about the um, <laughs> the, the epic boots that are really good, actually. Are they... Hold on. They're kind of better. They're better in a lot of ways. They have way more durability, way more armor, less damage, but the same amount of health, cooldown reduction, and a lot of knockback to resist. Oh, they're better. All right, new boots. All right, these are new boots. These are probably going to be new pants. This is probably going to be a new shield. This is probably going to be a new axe. Okay, but first we got to roll this. Oh my gosh, did I see a little, like, witch hat in there? Oh, please, I want the witch hat. Oh, I want to be a cute little witch hat. Whoa! Transmog Nation. Okay. Uh, let's look through this. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, it's horrible. I'm glad it's bad. That's horrible. This looks... Whoa! Okay, that's cool. All right. Witch! A witch! A witch, a witch, a witch! Still not very good. Uh, but a cute witch chest plate. I like it. I like it. More goat gear? No, I don't... I don't want the goat gear. Omega! Very bad damage, though. I might still roll it with the fundamentals, though. Because I could... I, I mean, oh, yeah. Dao Sword Sword Ski. Another one. Very nice. And the shield. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I'm going to keep these in here because I don't want to roll them right now. There's so much we have to do in this episode. I'm already taking way too long. I I'm running out of time already. Um, I want to roll some stuff, okay? I want to roll some stuff before I do catalysts because we have so much relic bits and having another relic is going to be really helpful for today. And I know we know the rules. You can't roll relics without rolling mod boxes. Mystery boxes we're saving for a little while, but we are just going to... Spam click like our life depends on it. Yes. Yes. Relics. Give them to me. Beautiful. Now, did we complete any relics? Uh, let's see. Yes. Yes. Cupcake relic. Done. Incredible. Amazing. Stupendous. Wonderful. Okay. That's one relic completed. Can we complete another, hopefully new one, with these five? unfortunate okay but we got a cupcake relic yes there's another 30 seconds in the vault all right it's mod box time mod box time whoa that's just a double pouch okay another external storage very nice Ooh, another solar generator also very nice very good very good times. And I suppose with this double pouch, it is high time that we upgrade our pouch. I'm also going to scrap our looting set because I don't <laughs> I don't ever use it. So bye-bye, looting chest plate. Thank you for turning into a focus. There we go. A lot more space to carry our items. Bye-bye, little pouch. I don't need you anymore. I want to make a mine inscription. Now, the only things we don't actually have are the Echo Gems and the Laramar Gems. That being said, if I am to look up Larimar, we have 59 and a lot of ore. So I'm thinking this should turn into it. And Echoes? We're doing okay on Echoes. We have one more in a chest I forgot to bring out. So I'm going to try to mine up four Echo ore and all of our Larimar. That didn't rhyme. I, tr I, tried, to, I tried to rhyme it, but nothing I said rhymed. And hey, while I am ascending the Larimar pillar, consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content i would really appreciate it and we're growing an amazing community all right larimar tower please give me 256 a little more than uh, four stacks perfect an extra is a wanted and now four echo gems four echo gems we should be able to get eight out of this come on now 12 yes oh and before i forget and god knows i would forget 
18% copiously, and that is the last upgrade this melted brick hammer will ever have, but I feel like 18% copiously is a pretty good metric. So I mentioned Mystical Essence was going to become important later today, and that is now, because look at all our Catalyst Fragments. Look at all the Catalysts we have. 26 Catalysts. Well, I want to infuse these Catalysts with Mystical Essence, which is a lot cheaper now. Like I said, i am repeating myself because I'm excited. I'm going to infuse all of these Catalysts and see how much living we can get. Because the Catalyst Living modifier is uh, redone now. It no longer adds... Oh, perfect! I can show you right here. It's 25% more living chests. It's not living chests strewn across the vault, it's that each living POI has 25% more. Also, the negative modifier is random now. We don't get to see. Ooh, a custom is nice. And ornate is the same way. It's like living, gilded, ornate, wealthy, you can see, is all the same way. It's 25% more rather than just throwing them all over the vault, which is a lot more fun. Oh, now this is just beautiful. One, two, three, four, five livings. We got two a custom. We got four, two, seven ornates. We got two wealthies. We got two gildeds. We got three woodens. We've got one plentiful that is a super catalyst, being that it has no negative modifier, as well as two more plentifuls. We got two extendeds. Whew. We're going to run a cool ball. Now, why living, you might ask? Well, living is where you get inscription pieces from, and we're going to want a bunch of inscription pieces because we are most likely going to need to craft these blank inscriptions, which cost two pieces of pop to help fill in the vault. And I'll get to that when it happens. This vault, I'm gonna run really fast though. I'm not gonna talk much. I'm gonna mostly just showcase the vault because my intention is to have enough time to actually showcase a mine room and I don't wanna make you guys wait for ages. Also check this out. It should be a lot easier to apply a large amount of catalyst to a crystal. So normally applying, you know, is like, oh, it's very hard, but you can see instability is pretty high, but I'm not stressing because more likely than not, it's actually just going to curse the crystal, which is not the best thing in the world, but it's much better than making the crystal unmodifiable. Yep, there it is. One curse with five living and one, or uh, five random negatives. Now I wonder, do I have any old living? Uh, okay, well, it's got frail on it, so we're not doing that. Now I can use one of those moats we got, the moat of purity to remove a random crystal or a moat of clarity. I'll just use a moat of purity. I don't want to stress. No stress. Uh, I'm going to assume it's eight levels as well. Probably just like a catalyst, but check this out. The consequence... Oh, two levels. Is gone. We just have five random negative modifiers, but five livings. That is 125 extra living chests. More than double living chests. If a POI has three living chests, now it has six. I know I should roll the new Valk gear before doing this, but I don't want to. I am impatient and I just want to play. Okay, let's see. Five times living, two times chunky mobs, one times raining, one times furious, and two draining. But check this out. Two draining is 20%. Should be 40. And two chunky mobs is 20%. What? And furious is only 10%. Huh? Yes, they nerfed all of the negative modifiers. So it is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot nicer to run with negative modifiers. Um, this room is useless to us completely. Here we go. Let's see. How different does our POI look today? Yeah, so you guys know this POI. We looted all the time. Look at how many living chests it has. Also, question for you guys. I have 40... I have plus 40 mining speed on this. I should absolutely be able to insta-mine these chests. Right? Like, I'm not crazy for thinking that. Oops, I turned this guy off. I'm not crazy for thinking that, right? I, uh, I don't know, is this like a bug? Is something wrong with the tool? Did I screw something up? I have haste too, you know? So I, f I feel like with plus 40 mining speed, we should be insta-mining at least living chests. Oh, hello, blacksmith room. Unfortunately, I, um, I'm gonna escape you, actually. I, I don't really need Valkyrie stuff, not after all the treasure rooms, but I appreciate you showing up. Look at all, like, this is just one room. Look at all the living chests. This is so cool. This is ridiculous. Oh, 
Always tempting me these days. Wait. There's barely even crystals in this one. Weird. I feel like this is the tightest I've ever called it with completing a vault, both on health and time. I have to say, that, that two times draining? Pretty significant. I am glad they nerfed it. <laughs> this vault would have been uh, a lot harder without it, but uh, I feel like it went pretty well. Admittedly, admittedly, I also feel like we got really bad luck with the amount of living POIs we found. But uh, 18,000, not bad, not bad. How many chests? 89, not bad, not bad. I feel like if we'd had less rooms that didn't have living, because we got a lot of rooms that just kind of didn't have living in it, it would have gone better. But all of that aside, 23 inscription pieces and uh, five full inscriptions is pretty good for our purposes. Yes, another zero instability inscription. Very good. A 1% very good. A 1% very good. A 1% very good. A 0% really good. So, so lucky with these. And of course, even more crates. <gasps> so pretty. Anything nice? Nah, just a bunch of standard stuff. Not bad, though. Okay, that was fun. But uh, now it's time to really have some fun. All the materials necessary to make a mine inscription. We want to get lucky on this. Very lucky. 1 minute and 30 on that only 1% instability. That is a great mine inscription. Incredible. Now our goal is to get to 100% completion with as little instability as possible. So with 0% instability, we can get all the way to 47% completion. Uh, we could get to 100% with all of these. We don't even need to craft any. I didn't really... Well, no, I did need to run that living thing. That was great. Okay, uh, we need a crystal to actually put these on. Let me, let me go get that real quick. Thank you, crystal. Alrighty, and now to apply our mine inscription. That's right. There's another step. You need a seal of the architect. And it's a good thing we have a ton of knowledge shards because you do need one. But easy as pie, a little bit of vault diamonds, a little bit of knowledge, seal of the architect. And you get to make a pretty blue crystal. I forgot that I needed levels. Let me go get those. Pretty blue crystal. Da da. So the objective is none. The theme is uh, the layout is architect and 0% uh, completion with 10 seconds. Now we want to smack on our mine room rune. Give me a level, thank you. Mine, room, room. Bam, there we go. We now have 6% completion, a minute 42 in the vault, and 1% instability. What our goal is now is to add all of our inscriptions to get a ton of time and 100% completion. There we go. And we only have 10% instability on the crystal. Pretty good. We also have 13 and a half minutes plus two minutes, so 15 minutes to do an entire mine room. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now is the time foretold by me a few episodes ago. The time of plentiful. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Unmodifiable. Unfortunate, but it's just as possible. Well, not just as possible. It's a lot rarer for that to happen. But with 60% instability, that's a pretty good rate. So we have one mine room, 13 and a half minutes, 15 and a half minutes, uh, cause of our stuff, five times plentiful and, uh, two negative modifiers that, uh, don't matter. Just in case I have this copiously a magnet, which I'll bring in as a backup. And I have this copiously a magnet, which I will bring in as a backup. So we're going to have a bunch of backup magnets in case anything goes wrong. Nothing should go wrong. It's just a mine room. Okay. It's just a mine room. Pretty blue portal. Got everything I might need. Oh, I, I, I'm I, really nervous. I'm like forgetting something or some reason. I'm not sure about it, but uh, no. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. Tenos pouch. We don't need it. That'd be a wasted use. Whew. All right, no more messing around. Architect vault. Look at how cute it is, by the way. This is, it's, it's the blank theme. And because we're 100% complete, there is a 0% chance that any of this vault is replaced with vault bedrock. Oh, look at all the ores. Look at all the ores. It's so beautiful. Uh, all right. Time to mine.
This is the greatest thing we have ever done in this series. Oh, I wonder if we're going to get any of our Echo Gem investment back. I'm not sure. We're definitely going to get that Laramar investment back, which is good because we need a lot of Laramar. I imagine we're going to be getting more than two stacks of ores, though. More than two stacks of gems for certain. Okay, the Magnus lasted for five minutes or so. Thank you to three times Unbreakable. Now, here's the question. I don't have any levels. Backup Magnet it is. Backup Magnet it is. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to bring levels into the vault. Oh, Echo. And it doubled. Okay, I'm happy again. And, okay, okay, so the reason I'm not getting levels, by the way, is there's a bug. You know what? No, 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 no. I should be able to, I should be able to prepare the magnet because it is currently a bug, okay? So I'm not gonna fall to a bug, okay? We're doing slash XP uh, set uh, DJoju the Awesome to, what is it, 100? No, what? Oh, DJoju the XP, what is it, level? Add? Give me 100. There, now I'm level 7. I should be level 7, okay? It's fine. I'm not cheating. It's a bug and I'm getting around it with commands, okay? So with two minutes left on the clock, I'm realizing that even 15 minutes isn't enough to do an entire mine room if you're just doing a mine room with a two times hammering. Okay, this is two times hammering. There's so many ores in this thing with 100% copiously, but here's the question. Can, can we? Oh, no way. It's unfortunate we didn't have enough time to do the entire mine room. I sure would have liked to, but it looks like we would have needed so many more inscriptions. And I, I guess I could have done that, but admittedly, I don't know that I would have been able to get the amount of uh, plentiful on this thing. So I say we should probably get out of here, pick up a few straggler ores on the way, you know, but uh, gotta leave the pretty mine room behind. I know, I know, Vault Timer. I know, I know. I get it. It's time. It's time to leave. It's time to go. Oh, goodbye, mine room. Goodbye. You were very good to me with double the ore as you'd normally have. Whatcha? Oh, I missed. Okay. I did not think I would get XP in that vault. 22,500 XP? I didn't think I'd get any. That's a little broken. That feels a little broken. Uh, let, let's check out um, Let's check out our, our, our breakdown. Four bombing night. That is surprisingly low. 80 pay night. Five upaline. 39 Alexandrite, 95 Beniatite, 2 Pizza Knight, 3 Sparkle Team, no Pophium because it doesn't exist in the game, 6 Ashium, 7 Escalium, 7 Gorge Knight, 211 Laramar. Hold on now. Uh, it's 128 Laramar ore on average that you need to invest. I almost doubled my investment. And we had 20% copiously the entire bowl. 4 Tubium. 14 Black Opal. 3 Xenium. 57 Wounded Eye. And an Echo. That means we mined every single ore in the game. Wow. That was perfect. Okay, but the real question is, do we get the Echo investment back? Because if we get the Echo investment back, theoretically speaking, y you know, you, you could just do it again and profit, right? Let's see. Nope. 